Okay, so in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show how to download all of the objects that are on the NEOCP uh, page, as well as recently confirmed, and then generate all of the elements uh, for each of those objects. So first go to the Tools menu, and then choose Manage Repositories. And then this presents a new window. So what you want to do is go to the Action menu and choose Download NEOCP slash Recently Confirmed. So this will download all of the objects on any OCP, as well as the PCCP page, which is the possible comment page. And uh, it will also download the recently confirmed objects as well. So uh, if you only care about the any OCP objects, then you can just click abort at this point in time. Uh, otherwise, you can let it proceed. So uh, for this, this tutorial, I'll just go ahead and let it finish up here. And once it has finished, then the next step is to uh, generate the orbital elements uh, for each of these objects. So download has completed and uh, if I wanted to before I generate the elements I could also right click on one of the repositories here choose open and explore and this will present a new window uh, presenting all of the objects uh, and their associated observations. So for example I could click on one here and do a edit so this will show all the observations all the measurements for that object so far. And then again next up uh, we can go ahead and uh, basically update or generate the, the elements uh, for each of these objects. So go to action, update or the elements and what we'll do is compute these elements again for each object uh, in both these repositories. So the NEOCP is pretty quick because there are generally not too many observations for each object but recently confirmed can take a bit longer uh, because there are generally a lot more observations uh, for these objects. So again, as before, if you wanted to, you could click abort, uh, which I'll go ahead and do here now just to make this uh, a bit quicker. So the next step is if you want to, you can go to edit elements. So you can do it for either any OCP or recently confirmed. And this will bring up a new window showing all of the elements uh, for all the items here. And if I want to, I can then choose uh, Save Copy As. So I give it a file name and uh, just go ahead and do that here, Elements NEOCP. And I click Save. And now that I've done that, uh, I have uh, a way I can open up that file and that will present uh, that uh, the contents of that file here. And you could typically, if you have another program that can read in these elements, you could use it for that purpose. So that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, one caveat here, though, is that this, uh, if you happen to have a comet with high eccentricity, then uh, that has to be stored in a different format because uh, those kinds of objects, uh, they, they have different set of orbital elements associated with them. And as a result, uh, again, they have a different format, so uh, you cannot store them in the same file. Uh, you can't have two different formats in the same file. So uh, what it will happen instead is uh, Taika will also generate a .comet uh, file. So it will be the same file name, but with .comet. So if there are any such objects encountered, uh, then they will be placed in this file. But uh, for the vast majority of objects, this will work without any uh, issue here, just uh, that they should be found in this file. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time.